finding life on other planets and moons has always been a fascinating thought, but someday humanity likely will turn that thought into a reality when we venture out into the solar system and begin to search for any form of life, even the simplest microscopic forms. Now there are moons such as Enceladus and Europa that have proven to have water oceans underneath the crust and have an energy provider for life. But those are some conditions that we know could harbor life, as we know it, life like ours on Earth. But let's take a different look. What if life could arise in extreme conditions that would kill any living organism on Earth? Non-carbon-based living thing. A life that's a lot more exotic. For that we would have to take a look at Titan, moon of Saturn, and the place of vast lakes, seas and rivers that are made out of methane and ethane. And Titan has a very thick atmosphere, thicker than our own on Earth. This somewhat lively looking place could be a potential destination. So the surface temperature of Titan is minus 170 Celsius on average, a temperature that would be fatal to any form of life on Earth. There is also some dose of radiation coming from Saturn, and to top that off, there is no liquid water on the surface and any potential energy source for us. But that is just for the life as we know it. So in these harsh conditions, what could even arise? What would life be like in those conditions? Well, it was discovered that Titan could have building blocks for DNA and RNA in the atmosphere. Pretty much building blocks of life. Our body and everyone else's on Earth uses water to propel the organism, or better said, uses water as a solvent. Life in Titan could use methane and ethane in the lakes the similar way our body does with water. Although liquid water is a lot better than methane and ethane for life, since water is very good at storing electrical energy and has high heat capacity, which makes the water the best building block for any life. But that doesn't mean that methane and ethane in Titan's lakes can do the similar, since there was modeled a hypothetical cell, simple life that could operate with liquid methane in Titan's lakes. It would be called the nitrogen body, since it would use nitrogen as a chemical base for its membranes. Of course, it is all hypothetical. It doesn't suggest that that is the life in Titan, just one somewhat possible functioning life. Now that is just one possible scenario in which we find life. There are others which could work as well. For example, when a meteor strikes Titan, it could create a place in which liquid water could go on for thousands of years, allowing for organic water-based life, like ours on Earth, to emerge. Another interesting scenario is the one that will likely happen in the far future, since the Sun in about 5-6 to six billion years will become so luminous and gigantic that it would be extremely hot and would kill any life on Earth. But that would also mean that Titan's surface would get a lot warmer likely reaching even minus 70 Celsius or even warmer. That would make for some drastic changes in Titan. It would completely reshape the surface of Titan and would allow for a formation of stable oceans that would consist of water ammonia. This would be a lot better liquid to support life than the previous methane. And it would allow for some very exotic, maybe even complex life forms to arise in those future oceans. Their behavior would likely be completely alien to us. Would they be static or would they be moving? Would there be a food chain with predators or something we cannot even think of? Still, taking a look at all the Titan missions, the most promising one is the Titan Mare Explorer, for which it was proposed to be launched in 2016. Sadly, now that it is 2017, nothing happened. But if it were to be launched, the lander would cost 425 million dollars, which is actually cheap considering it is a space mission on a world that far away. The Mare Explorer would land and float on the lakes, it would give the first up close pictures of Titan's lakes, and we would be able to finally study the depth and know what chemicals are they made out of. Through that we could determine if there is anything weird or alive lurking in these lakes. Really the possibilities are endless with very unfamiliar life forms. Now of course that doesn't mean that life will arise in Titan in the future, or that life is present in Titan, 
right now. It just means that there are some possibilities which we should think about because if we do, we may finally realize that we are not alone in the universe.